Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Mr. B Cooks. Today, we're going to be on the grill. Appreciate you guys, my subscribers, for tuning in and for your new viewers, become subscribers so that you can see how to make a grilled chicken salad uh, out here. So let's start. Uh, I've got uh, my chicken and my corn in the marinade. Bring that over so you can see that. There's my ears of corn. Um, the marinade. Let's talk about that. Two tablespoons of garlic powder, two tablespoons of onion powder, two tablespoons of paprika, two tablespoons of thyme, two tablespoons of oregano, two tablespoons of black pepper, two tablespoons of sea salt, two tablespoons or the juice of one lemon, and uh, four tablespoons of chicken stock. Actually, I think I actually did eight because I wanted a little extra juice. Now, first things first, get our corn. I've got some melted butter up here. Corn takes a little longer to cook. Right onto the grill. Ooh, right onto the grill. Rinse and repeat. They're gonna go for about three minutes a side. Don't burn up like that. That's the, the butter that is burning up, and that's okay. I just don't want to get them blackened. Next up is some broccoli. So we're gonna have grilled corn on our on our salad. And we're gonna have some grilled broccoli. Uh, this is a nice little basket contraption. I actually got this one at Kohl's. Um, same thing, broccoli and the corn are going to take about 12 minutes in total to cook and we need to rotate them. That's why this basket is going to come in real handy. I can turn it. I even have a nice little handle for it. So we're going to turn them every three minutes uh, and then once we get to about six minutes halfway, we'll start putting the chicken out. Okay, you can see that I've got a nice little bit of a char going, which is perfect. That's how we want that. That's going to make for some really tasty corn on our salad. I'm going to slide those out of the way for right now. Of that, but you can see that I've got a nice little bit of uh, some black, and that's okay. Um, the char is just on the edges, and that's fine. Now we've got a nice hot coal, it's time to get some chicken on here. This chicken's been soaking in this uh, for about four or five hours, but one hour is plenty if you, if you don't have the time to uh, advance notice it. Straight onto our grill, nice and flat. And then we're gonna leave it. It only needs about three to four minutes to side because these are fairly thin. I don't know if you can tell that. But they'll go quick. And you can see all those nice spices just sitting on there waiting to just cooked up into the chicken. This is gonna be a very flavorful, mild, not hot. Three to four minutes and we'll be flipping. All right, it's been about three, maybe four minutes. And you can see I'm getting some weight on that side, so I'm just gonna flip them over. And I'm gonna let them actually go about five minutes on this side just to make sure that they're cooked all the way through. I have also flipped the broccoli, as you can see, it's on the other side now, and I've moved the corn around a little bit. Just continuing to keep those rolling because we don't want to burn them, we want to get a char and not a burn. See you in five. Corn is done, I've moved it out of the way. Broccoli is also done. That out of the way. So these are chicken, and you can see I cut one just to make sure that we were cooked all the way through. And the juices are clear. We finished up. I've sliced up the chicken. I've pulled the corn off of the cob by cutting it down the cob. And then I've brought the broccoli in as well. And we're going to make a salad out of this, like I said from the beginning. So the idea of this meal is that we kind of serve yourself and get what you want. Get a little chicken on there. Lovely corn. This corn looks delicious. Put that on. Maybe another spoonful. Okay. Come over here and get some of this nice charred broccoli. And if you like dressing on your salad, this is just an oil and vinegar dressing that I've made uh, in one of the other videos. And there you go. It's as easy as that. And I guarantee you that is a delicious salad. You know the drill. Subscribe, share, like, comment down below. Let me know what alterations you make. You know, roasted peppers would be awesome on this. Roasted tomatoes would be good on this. Otherwise, comments below, like I said. Check back for the next video. And as always, take care. Peace.